YZ Vibes family, welcome back to the channel and to those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Lydia Deborah. In today's video, I am giving you scrunch butt leggings and yes, I know that I've done this video before. However, somebody asked if it's possible to do this without the use of a sewing machine. And yes, yes you can. Girl, go get your scrunch butt leggings. Go get them because you deserve them, alright? Watch the tutorial. By the way guys, today's video is brought to you by this voodoo priestess look that I'm rocking. And it is indeed my voodoo priestess magic that I'm using to take you from this to this. So if you want to see how I'm using my magic to contour up these, you know, really nice, really, really delicious tights. <laughs> For this tutorial, you're going to need something wooden. I'm using an old chopping board that we no longer use in the kitchen because it got burnt. I have my tights, thread to match. I have a seam ripper, it might come in handy. Two thumbtacks, uh, something with which to pound the thumbtacks into place and I'm, I'm using good old Buddha. I have a pair of scissors, my elastic and a sewing needle and I'm using a pretty thin sewing needle so you don't want to use the biggest one that you have. You're going to place the wooden, your piece of wood, whatever it is that you're using, into your pants. I'm going to scrunch, make sure it's the back seam, alright? I'm using elastic that is one centimeter wide and you're going to secure this piece of elastic. I like to leave it long. Like I don't cut it off, and just in case I make a mistake, I'll just use my seam ripper, remove it, and then it's not a wasted piece of elastic. So I, I punch my thumbtack through my elastic, and then I'm going to push it down right here through the seam. I'm pushing it through the seam because one, that's the centermost part, and two, the fabric is thicker there, so you're less likely to damage the fabric and cause it to snag. Now you grab your little pounding tool, boom. <laughs> It's in place. See? I know you're able to work and stretch your elastic without having to hold it in place. Like you can work freely. So I've got it all stretched out as much as I can possibly stretch the elastic. And I'm going to secure thumbtack number two. Now my elastic is stretched over super tightly. And we have this seam underneath. All right, so now that we have our elastic in place, what we need to do is sew it down with a zigzag stitch. If you don't use a zigzag stitch, your pants are not going to be able to stretch or the elastic is not going to stretch when you put your pants on and the seam is just going to pop if you just use a regular straight stitch. So you're using a zigzag stitch and I'm going to show you how to do just that. Sewing a zigzag stitch by hand is very simple. You can see I've started here already with an under stitch. I'm not sure if it's actually called that, but this stitch that you start off with is one that goes underneath the fabric. It's not going to lay on top of your fabric. You see where the knot is and where the thread comes up. So you start off with a stitch like that. From there, you're going to go down diagonally and then you're going to do this same under stitch again. And try to do that under stitch as short as you possibly can because that's a part of the stitch that when you do it with a sewing machine, you don't really see that. Because as you see me building on my zigzag stitch and you see it actually taking shape, you can see where I've done that under stitch. There's, you know, a tiny space. And if I had done it on a sewing machine, you wouldn't have seen that. You would have just seen the zigzag going all the way across. And my stitch is not that even either, but do better than me, okay? So here now I'm removing the thumbtack. And look, mm, instant scrunch. And it looks so good. And I'm just tugging a little bit on the thread just to ruche it up a little bit more but there's a limit as to how much you can do that because if you do too much when you put it on and the elastic stretches the thread can pop now i'm doing a final stitch and a knot and i'm cutting the thread but i'm cutting it long and then i'm separating the two threads because i doubled it and i'm going to tie it and uh, three is a magic number so i did three knots and then i cut the thread Cut the elastic and now we're turning these babies inside out to see the result and voila! Yes! This is your scrunch. Look at that. Now let's try them on. 
Yeah, watch them pegs na. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> If you think we did it, I feel like we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. And to those of you that wanted to see this video, that requested this video because you either can't sew or don't have access to a sewing machine, I really hope that you get the results that you want and that you get your scrunch butt leggings so you can so <laughs> so you can look fly in the gym. Or I mean, some people wear those leggings outside of the gym as well. I don't know. I don't. All right, so let's get some side-by-side -side action. Last one for the road, right? I think we did it, we definitely did. And um, on that note, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. And I also want to say that I'm very, very grateful for all of the views on the video that preceded this one. I had no idea that I was going to get that many views on that video when I first published it. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. And I am definitely going to make another video a lot sooner than it took me to make this one. Trust me, guys. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.